We are very spiritual people. We have monitored our land and the surrounding of our land. We are saltwater people. We rely heavily on our seafood as our major diet food. When we see certain plants, we know that this particular fish is a good time to eat. Look at not only the island or how the climate change is affecting our home, inundation, erosion, but also the bird life. A lot of people don't realize, but our island here is one of the major islands which is like a motel and hotels for these birds when they do their migrational journey from mainland Australia to Papua New Guinea. There's many things I, I like about Masik. I like to go out fishing, like to go um, swimming in the, on the beach and go inside bush, bush bash and then thing, yeah. Our island um, is falling apart. We feel very hurt that our island starting to wash away. We had an incident here which me and my children played a big role in picking up human remains like shells of the beach. It was something where I never experienced before and it's something that I, I really do not want to experience again. Culture and our tradition remains very strong which connects us to the land and the sea and the skies around this particular area where we have connection to these particular things, which is through our totems, our song lines, which connects us to this, this region. Looking at our culture and our tradition, we cannot practice it on another man's land. The government told us within 30 to 50 years, we will be relocated. Where to, we don't know. This is an important decision for at least two reasons. First, the decision really highlighted the dramatic consequences of climate change on the enjoyment and exercise of civil and political rights, especially family life, uh, private life, but also, and more importantly, cultural life and the, the respect of traditions and the respect of uh, traditional way of life of indigenous peoples. The second reason why the decision is important is that it was for uh, the Human Rights Committee a sort of raising awareness that when we talk about climate change, we also talk about civil and political rights. We're still waiting for our seawall. They told us that it's gonna drop to be shorter, only 200 meters. 200 meters of seawall won't actually save our home. It's a ticking time. The time is getting shorter as each day our home is getting smaller. 